Welcome back. Um, it's time for the summary of my David of the Northeast project, uh, just what I managed to accomplish in lockdown March. And bef but before I go into details, um, we're looking at a few new additions. These um, these pieces were on on show in Arakachi the last time I filmed in the gallery. So. Here are three dogs. Um, they were part of a study process for um, for a, a commission that I was finishing um, a few years ago, and they sort of languished in the workshop. But here they are, um, bright and shiny and varnished, and uh, very happy in their new home. And this was another um, piece, or it's in, in an installation form. Uh, two of the dog, the two blue dogs, were uh, were also studies. Um, and the gentleman had been suspended in my workshop for a couple of years. Uh, I, I couldn't really finish him off um, in terms of the painting because some birds had started to nest and, and I waited for the birds to go uh, but I quite like this um, this presentation it's that sort of feeling that the gentleman was always meant to be a, a kind of gritty street dweller um, and in a lot of cases, the closest thing to a friend or company that people have on the, living rough on the streets is, are their dogs, actually. Um, so I quite like that. And before showing you just how far I've got with David, here's a reminder. This was the piece that I abandoned that I'd been doing in February. Um, you might recall I abandoned him because... Basically, the ear was too low, as you can see there. So I started a new piece. Um, the gallery is looking a bit messy because I've needed a ladder. And here he is. Uh, let's see if I go from the other side of the window. Probably backlighting is what is required. Um, there's going to be a lot of visual interference. My apologies, but um, what can I do? Uh, well, the first obvious point is, in answer to the big question, would I finish him in a month? The answer is obviously no. Um, and then I thought, well, I'll get all the hair in place and then finish the neck the next week. Well, I think that may be optimistic as well. I think we're looking at more, more at two weeks. So... There he is. Uh, in terms of finishing the hair, um, there's uh, just this piece here uh, left to go. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with that. Probably on balance, it's a fraction higher than it should be if I, if I look at the measurements, but that's okay. Um, I'm at the moment working on getting his trapezius muscle in place and and working on the the contrapostal you can see how um, it's that very simply put the, the upward tilt uh, one of the things that I found difficult working on such a large piece um, such a large head is that it really looks wrong uh, when it's partly finished. It's very difficult to fill in the gaps. So uh, about three days ago, the, the hair was worrying me um, because there was nothing to give it a sense of proportion, to, to balance it. Um, but now it's looking, as it, as it nears completion, it's looking a lot better. I... I reasonably happy with the the line which is I think fairly 
true to the original. Um, I'm very happy with uh, his smile. You know, is it a good likeness? I don't think it's difficult to, to film him. And he's, and he's rotating. We've got a bit of, bit of a draft. But on balance, I'm happy. Uh, it is a big piece. I'll say that. The head is over 70 centimetres from chin to top. Um, so in the end, it's, it'll be more than well over a metre high, probably close to 120 than, than 110. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. That's, uh, I think that gives you an idea. Um, this short video has illustrated a point that, well, I'm well aware of, that uh, a piece of infrastructure that I'm going to need is a, um, a set of stands that I can create um, backdrops for photographing and filming. Um, and that's going to be tricky. It's a, well, that's a challenge way that I'll that I'll wait to address in in the coming weeks once I've actually finished the head. And if I can finish by the tenth of April, um, that'll be a fine thing. So there we are. That's David of the Northeast. He's. Um, enjoying his surroundings and uh, until next month when with a bit of luck in our part of Brazil we'll be we'll have, we'll have seen the lockdown eased but for the time being it's certainly keeping my nose to the grindstone which is no bad thing uh, sort of silver linings the cloud so until next month Ciao.